Pay a 999 for today's deal. Twenty-two boxes, a quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. We are approaching the one thousandth show. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. to the thousandth has been absolutely wonderful and it really is fantastic to see everybody again and I wonder what's going to happen in this game mm, he's been putting in an extra special box each time I wonder what it contains player 999 is about to come out here are the names I do really hope you are about to strike gold. You are all the nines. Jerk. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Thank you. I want you to take the golden walk of wealth. Dirk, take Thanks a seat. Dirk Nienhuis. 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 Uh, originally from Holland. Which part of Holland? Right up in the North Friesland, the agricultural sector. Leeuwarden is, you know, the capital of it. The province of Friesland. And At this very moment, there's a translation. <laughs> we're, we're running subtitles. <laughs> Along the bottom of the screen there. That's it. So, uh, oh. Well, actually, I left Holland in 1952. And I went to Rhodesia. What is now Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe. Yeah, it is Zimbabwe now. But I loved the country that much, so I stayed there for 35 years. And it was there, actually, also that uh, I met what is now my wife. Mm -hmm. She is from Newcastle upon Tyne. We met on a blind date. And that is how we got married. My, both my children are born there. And I left uh, what was then called Zimbabwe in 1987, when I retired after 35 years service with the National Railway of Zimbabwe. Prior was called the Rhodesia Railway. And what were you doing on the railway? I started as a fireman, and then I eventually became, I retired as a senior locomotive inspector on steam, diesel and electrics. I mean, it must be spectacular scenery that you were actually traveling through. The spectacular sides there. Animals, elephants, buffalo, you name it, we could see in there. Of course, sometimes, yeah, you collided with one of them. Uh, I collided with an elephant once. Right. But by the time you see it and you try to apply the brakes, I mean, the weight of the train will push you through. Right. And so there was a big bump. Yeah, quite a, on, a, on an elephant, yes, quite a heavy one. Yeah. <laughs> The elephant that seller was left there. The locals would make a meal out of it. And then eventually, you know, when they had taken all there, what they wanted, the vultures would come. Yeah. But eventually, you know, if you came back about four or five weeks later, there was nothing left but the bones. And then throughout the months to come, you know, the sun would... But it disrupts the timetable. I mean, did you... Did you... <laughs> did you sort of just run a skeleton service? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Fantastic. What a fascinating character. Now. That's my mother and my father. And this photo was taken on 
the 40th anniversary of my father's employment on the railway in Holland. His father was on the railway, my father was on the railway, and I was on the railway. They were on the Dutch railway, both of them. I see. Trains run in your blood. Yeah. That photograph was taken in Bulawayo, and it is my son on the left. It's my wife here in the middle. It's my daughter here, and I'm behind it there. And incredibly, no one in your family has a name. Yes. The, <laughs> the son is called Derek. The wife is called Avril. The daughter is called Julie. And my name is Dirk. <laughs> um, Dirk, I'm, I'm really wanting to crack on with this. And I think this is going to be a fascinating battle with the banker. Are you happy to, to go on now? Yeah. I'm quite happy. I need you, please, to confirm that you chose box 17 at random before the game began. I did. Good. <laughs> I thought you were having a grey moment there where no. it was going to be very difficult to get the truth out of you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, of course, it's sealed by our independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Johnny, well, you seem very happy with oh. the... Uh, uh, procedures that we have here now. So <laughs> I've, listened, I've listened to it for many yes. a month. So well, we do you know how many times I've said it? <laughs> that, that must be yeah, nine, 999 times. Yeah, yeah. Bar the repeats yes, and the retakes. <laughs> Don't recall retakes. <laughs> right, Dirk. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. 999. And this is your game board, as you know, in the build up. To our milestone 1,000th show, there is no 1,000 pound box. And the banker is substituting for you, Dirk, a box containing 50. That's a big amount of money. Good luck, Dirk. This is going to be sensational. Thank you this is very going to be much. a great game. No! Can I start it? I want to challenge the banker. Hi, Ziki Zumba, Zumba, Zumba. Hi, Ziki Zumba, Zumba. I bet he's got something special planned for the 1P kiss. <laughs> Let's go for the first one. I don't believe in the newbie's curse. Vera, can you open box 11, please? Vera, welcome to the game. Thank you. You look beautiful. Thank you. Do please give us a blue in box 11. I will try. Good luck. a character, Jake. I'm going to miss you. Yeah! 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 Lisa, can you open box 18? No problem, Dark. I'll miss you loads. Oh! Oh, 
sorry. No sorry. problem. No problem. It had to come out sooner or later. <laughs> yeah. Come on, good. Natalie, could you please open box 8? Really hope to play for you. Yeah! I love you, kid. I love you. I love you. Will, can you open oh. box 8? <laughs> Yeah, I'm scared not to after that. Hi, come on, you're a copper, you're not scared for nothing. <laughs> All the best, mate. Thanks a lot. Oh. 75. Oh. That was a shame. Yeah, it's a hope. It's a hole there. Yeah, but the good news, of course, is... Oh, here he comes. Because we have 50,000 up the top yeah. there. When you get a hit like that, it's not so bad. Nope. Hello? Oh, that's rude. Sid. Stephen got lucky yesterday, just like the morons who have turned up today. <laughs> Goodness, Dirk is here. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> You've got a lot in common with Dirk. Yeah, he hit an elephant with his train. Oh, he reversed over his wife in a Bentley. <laughs> oh, that's not so good, is it? That's not so good. 100,000 and the 75,000 in the opening round, yeah. But we've still got the 50,000 and the 50,000. Two of them. And a quarter of a million to fall back on. Yes, and a quarter of a million to fall back on. <laughs> I like that. Oh, yes. I like that. Yes. We like that. Oh, yeah. uh, I knew it would come in. It's got to be 999, hasn't it? For show 999. And normally, of course, he would give you a very nasty offer at this point. But actually, of course, you have two £50,000 in this exceptional game. Your offer is 9,999. One short of 10 grand. Big opening offer. That is better than a kick of the backside, isn't it? <laughs> but I'm here to spank the banker. Yeah! That's what we want. There's uh, still too much to play for. No, well, yes, I'm ready for the banker. 9,999 pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you, Derek. Yeah. Looking at you. Be afraid, Damon. He's looking at you. Can you open box nine, Damon? We're an absolute gentleman. Hope it's the one P. Oh, he wants a dirt kiss. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Get to ground. Yeah. Oh. Twenty thousand. Get to ground. I'm going to go to my lovely right-hand neighbour, Michelle. Can you open box twenty? got a fighting chance here. Still got 50,000 and 50,000 and the fallback of a quarter of a million. <laughs> and 35,000. Oh, 35, there's plenty, there's plenty it's there. It's great, it's great, but we are going to have a break, Dirk. Give us a little bit of more oomph. Yes. <laughs> and I know you like the stats we've had in the last few games. Celebrating the thousandth deal or no deal, we've been looking back at some of the extraordinary things that have happened. And, of course, you would think the worst you can do is go away with one P. The reality is, one player went away with nothing. Do you remember that? I'll tell you the story after the break.
colleagues from Be No Deal in Great Britain. Congratulations, a thousand episodes, great. And we're all going to say gefeliciteerd, jongens. It's congratulations in the Dutch. Zullen we dat even doen met z'n allen? 3, 2, 1, gefeliciteerd. players are making some racket here. Uh, yeah, that story, that was Lee Whitehouse. Lee Whitehouse had a very disappointing game, and he actually declined £2.49 P, and he had a £1 box and a £10 box. And the banker, somewhat minxily, said to him, if it's the £10, I will add £500, but if it's the pound, actually nothing. And we opened the box, it was the pound. He won nothing. Lee Whitehouse, hi Lee, is the only player in the history of Deal or No Deal to go away with no money at all. And I tell you, it ain't going to happen today. We have an extra £50,000 up there, and you're now going to find the 1P. Let's be positive. That's what I said. Graham, can you open box number one? Okay, he thinks one's in one. Best luck, Dirk. Unique. Three thousand. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's okay. That's okay, but you're going to have to do yeah. some damage. Top. You've definitely got to do something with that top left. Now what Hello, is he banker. Dirk, I'm here. He's going. Hi, Ziki Zumba, Zumba, Zumba. Hi, Ziki Zumba, Zumba. Oh, he's going to meet you head on, Dirk. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Oh, 999. He's clearly going to figure in every offer. 11,999. Oh, it's a good strap. I'm ready for the question. £11,999. Deal or no deal? No, no deal. No. no deal. We're never going with a quarter of a million dollars. I'm going to look for that one penny. Paula, please give me that one penny. Fingers crossed. Oh, you go. <laughs> Don't worry. 15,000. Don't worry. We play the game. We play the game. David. Let's go along. Uh, Open it? number 10. Ready? Yes. Crazy man, but you're so lovely. Yeah. Hey, still in love, still in love. Thank you, David. Thank you. Thank you. It's another move. Oh, hey. We're doing all right. We're going to go here. Come on, Jonathan. Come on. Oh. Hello. It was a good round. Oh, this has got to be good news. He's starting to feel feel like a passenger on Rhodesia Railways. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in an ideal world, where would you like to go? Boom. Oh, an elephant. <laughs> Does she want a cup of tea? We'll send him a cup of tea from the agent. Oh, that's a nice idea. Oh, thank you. Still 999. He doesn't want a cup of tea. He wants that box. Box 17 is now worth 17,999. <laughs> the impact of the additional 50,000 up there is enormous. You've got some big money still in this game, Dirk. That's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm looking at. That's a really good board. 
And at the moment, he's not looking like the passenger. He's looking like the elephant. Like the elephant. There is room to manoeuvre. Dirk, you know what to do. There's no way you're walking away from that board. There's still a lot of money to play for. It is. There's still too much to play for. Ask me the question. £17,999. Deal or no deal? No deal. James, number seven. Okay, Dirk. Good luck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's only one. Still, still one left. Rachel, number 16, please. Dirk, Rachel has had seven blues in a row. You've seen the 50. It would be terrible if this was gold. Ooh, Rachel, please, have another blue. I hope it's blue, and I don't want it to be the gold. Oh. Good luck. We've just had so many coincidences. Yeah! I'm drawn to your side. Can you open box number two, please? Ollie, hold it right there, please. I'm going to take a break, Dirk. And after the break, I will tell you which box has had the quarter of a million on more occasions than any other. There is one box that has had the quarter of a million more times than any other box. And in view of the fact you've still got the quarter of a million, the information could be useful to you. Come back! Congrats on Deal or No Deal reaching a thousand shows. The odds, of course, always favour the banker, but I love the psychology. I imagine if you were down to the last two boxes, one had a penny, the other a quarter of a million pounds. The banker offers you 83,000 pounds. Do you deal or gamble? No deal! players from all, I mean, Arlette, I've just been talking to Arlette, she was one of the earliest players, back there in 2005 when we started. Ooh, Dirk, I think you'll be interested in the answer to the question, I which am. box has had the quarter of a million I am. more than any other? The box that has had the quarter of a million more than any other is number two. Got to take a chance. I said I'm to go and take two, and I'm not gonna pull out of it. That's great. I'm now I'm going for it. Right. Well, here it is, Ollie. Um, hopefully, it's not gonna live up to its reputation as the box that contains the quarter million more than any other. He chose you before the break, then forgot about it. He received the information and still wants to. Ollie, open it. Dirk, I'm an eighth Dutch. No, it's not much, but it might give you a bit of luck. That's only from who? But it's not a quarter of a million. <laughs> there you are. Okay, thanks, Ollie. That now it's getting dangerous. That is amazing. Yeah. Only the second time that we've had the same value boxes. A pair of 50,000s. And they go in the same round. That's amazing. Just amazing. Hello? Well, all right, amazing and hilarious for you. You feel sorry for him because he's such a great person. You like his style. Thank you. He points out... The obvious. It's a very different board now. 
It's and you're, in his favor, yeah. Yeah, and you're back where you started, 9,999. Yeah. It's in his favor. Yeah. Definitely in his favor at the moment. I think there's a bit more life in it? Yeah, I'm ready for the question. 9,999 pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. What a surprise. <laughs> Thank you, Thel. Need a blue run now. Very good one, too. Five grand. That's oh, okay. It's okay. And now you've got to find the one pay in the pound. You've got to have that kiss. You've got to get the one P out in this round. 13 is usually set an unlucky number. Great. Open number 13. Well, wow, this would be quite something, wouldn't it? <laughs> We're looking for the one P. I'm looking forward to this, Dirk. If it is one P, good luck. No. Another raid. No, you... Now it's really precarious. Oh, no. And now you really do have to find it. What a game. Oh. The tension is building. The tension is building. Todd, don't get this one wrong. It's got to be blue, but if you're going to get a half-decent offer, it's got to be the 1P. Number 15. OK, Ollie, Margaret's box. We wish Margaret well. All on this, Dirk. This is a big box in I your life. It is. Go on, Ollie. I'm sure Margaret would wish you luck. Oh! I'm not a quarter millionaire. Don't worry, I chose the books. I chose the books. Oh no, I chose the books. I mean, that's. It's part of the game, eh? Hey, come on! Everybody! Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's go! Really? Oh, he's smiling now. Oh, oof, smiling? He's falling off the chair laughing. Wow. Isaacy Bumbos and yeah, he's had it now. He was cruel. Last box of the round. Oh, two thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Oh, Dirk. Ooh, that's not a great offer, is it? It's no use wasting a lot of time on it. No, ask me the question. £2,999. Deal or no deal? No deal. Oh, hey. <laughs> not messing about. True to his word, he's not messing about. I'm going to finish off oh. these. Oh. What now? <laughs> yeah, he's honest. He is very impressed with you, Dirk, because some players think the important thing is to talk it up all the time. But each time you've had a setback, you've been just totally honest and open. And he always rewards courage, and he's not making a joke about Dutch courage. So he's actually saying, as a mark of his respect to you, if you can get through this round without discovering the 35,000, he guarantees you your next offer will be in excess of 10,000 pounds. Tell him I'll appreciate this. Yeah, honestly, I do. Thank you. Jean, can you open box number five? Really? There's got to be blues now. Definitely. It's gonna be There's got to be blues now. Yeah. Well, I've never been kissed by a man, but I'm willing to try it out now. We'll do that, I promise you. Can you open box number six? We know what we don't want to see. This is blue. We're only one box away from a guaranteed £10,000 offer. Joe, open box six, please. Take the 
1P, it will undoubtedly strengthen that offer. Tony number 4D is going right. He's going to you, Tony. I really, really hope that we're not having a groan. The guys behind me know what it's like. This is a terrifying moment. The whole game hinges on this. Please, make us cheer. Thank you. Dirk, you're a great character. We will all miss you. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Oh! Oh! What a downfall, isn't it? Down the drain. It's the game. Oh, Dirk. Never mind. Tony! We still friends. Oh, that's all right. Oh, no problem. And I gonna be another member of the one well, people. That's about, it. That's Dirk, it, isn't it? Dirk, I was about to say this is such a painful game. The way it can just suddenly go completely against the play. Hello. To the left, taking Jason's box, he would have been saying 11,000. <coughs> As it is, it's 11p. Oh, oh. You can't start all over again, is it? Oh, Dirk, I wish, <laughs> Dirk, I wish, I wish we could. Let's play the game to the end. Ask the question. <laughs> Dirk, 11 pence. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you, Dirk. Yeah. Never thought you were going to. Please take the seat. Dirk, we both came in to this game with high expectations and a hope. I was really hoping you were going to become our first male quarter millionaire. We are going into our milestone tomorrow with no man actually achieving the big prize but also you are on the verge of being the 20th member of the 1p club they do live on a barge so i guess a dutchman would feel reasonably at home with all the canals and stuff um i don't know some people actually do feel that if you're gonna have a disappointing game there is some cachet there is some status to being a member of that club. I don't know whether it's something you aspire to or whether you'd rather go away with a quid and avoid it. I might as well make history and go into the one peak club. Okay. So we now know what we hope to see. Are you the 20th member of the deal or no deal 1P club? <laughs> to be part of the show. You are fantastic, Dad. It will be with me for the rest of my life. I met some wonderful people. Look at them. Look at the gang there. I call them the Red Pack. Thank you. Open it, please, Jason. Officially conclude. Absolute legend, Dad. Found it. Great, Jason. Oh, no problem. I'm in the one P club. <laughs> Welcome to the family, mate. Is it? Welcome to the family. Oh, You're one of us. Well. Oh, yeah. One of us. Thank you. I am. And that's, that's a great bond as well. Oh. Oh. Well, there you go. Part of the game, no. Actually being welcomed to the club by JC. <laughs> Dirk, it has been an enormous pleasure to have met you. You've enhanced this show. You really have given us something. You're an inspiration, you are, Dirk. Thank you, Noel. But it is my thing. I met it for 42 years and I've got a happy and lucky life and I'm healthy. Thanks a lot. expecting me to say you won't dare miss it see you tomorrow for the 1000 deal or no deal 
coming next, Paul O'Grady with Alison Stedman.